Hello and welcome to a video tutorial showing you how to create filters in your Gmail. My name is Tyler Osborne. So first uh, step is to actually log into your Gmail. Once you've logged in, you'll have a screen that looks a lot like mine. Go to the right hand side and you'll see something that looks like a gear or a cog wheel. Click on that and then go down into the settings and then click on the settings. From here, you get a whole bunch of tabs across the top, starting with general, labels, inbox. Go over to filters and blocked addresses and click on that. And then in the middle of the screen, you're going to see create new filter. And that's what you want to click. So you can filter by who the email is from, who it's to, the subject, um, if it has words anywhere in the body of the email or it doesn't have words. It has attachments, so you can filter that way. Or if it's uh, like you're not wanting to include different chats that you might be having in Gmail, um, in Google Hangouts. So I'm going to actually do the from. So the reason that you might want to filter some emails is if you get a lot of emails from like an automatic service and you don't want to delete them, and you don't want to miss them, and you don't necessarily want to unsubscribe either from those emails, um, you just want to keep them for your records later on. But if they fill up your inbox, then they're definitely impeding your ability to do work. So for example, I really like getting the notifications from my Google Classroom when students have submitted work, but I might get like 30 of those a day and that can really bog down my email and make it difficult for me to see what actually is important. So I'm gonna filter from, and I remember that the back half of the Google Classroom uh, notifications, the back half of that email address is at classroom.google.com. So I'm going to create from, that part of the email, I'm going to create filter with the search by clicking there. Now, this isn't the uh, email account that I run my Google Classroom out of. When I made this filter for my regular school account, I had like 700 and something matches down here. And I can automatically put every um, one of those emails out of my inbox and into a folder by clicking this also apply to whatever matching conversations. I'm not going to do that here because I don't have any matching conversations. So let's go over the options that you have now. I do want these emails to skip the inbox. I don't want I don't want them showing up in my inbox anymore, and they're just going to automatically be archived. That means they're not deleted. They're not going to go anywhere, but I won't see them in my inbox. Now um, I'm going to apply the label, and I'm going to create a label called student work, so that I can see. Um, all these emails really quickly just by clicking this label. So you'll notice over here on my left hand side that student work is now there. Think of it kind of like a folder. Any email that is uh, tagged with this label is going to be right there in student work and I don't have to search quite as much to find them. So right now the emails will come in and they'll automatically get taken out of my inbox and be put into this folder. And beside the folder as they come in, the, uh, the new email message counter will start going up. So if 10 students submit work, I'm going to see a little 10 right next to the student work. Now, if I don't want it to count new messages, I could automatically mark them as red, which I'm going to do because I don't really need to know when they've submitted new work. I see that in Google Classroom already with my notifications. Um, but I do want that record, that paper trail later on, just in case. Now, starring it just makes it easier to find if you wanted to. If you wanted to automatically forward it to another address, you could. Uh, so if you have more than one work account, uh, you could forward to a single account so you can see all your notifications together. Um, deleting it automatically, never sending it to spam. Uh, this send canned response, this is an add-on that I have right now. It's a, it's a Google Lab. I'll make another video on how to add labs. Um, I won't go over the send canned response just yet. You could always mark it as important or never mark it as important. Uh, a lot of companies I've noticed in their marketing like to mark their messages as important. And uh, what they think is important and what I think important is important is not necessarily the same thing. And then you can categorize these emails too. So you can categorize these e emails as personal, social promotions, updates, forums, whatever. Um, I don't really use the categories feature, so I'm just going to leave that off. The last thing that you need to do is press create filter. And that's it. You'll now see under the filter uh, tab in your settings panel that you have this filter from any matches from at classroom.google.com. And that's all you really need to know about creating a filter. You can create filters for all kinds of things. If you get Pinterest uh, notifications from people and you don't want them, you can send them directly to the trash. If uh, Twitter is constantly hassling you, you can send anything from Twitter directly to the trash. 
There's all kinds of ways to use these filters to streamline your inbox so that you're only focusing on the really important things. All right, if you like this video, please consider leaving, leaving me some feedback on my Google form, or better yet, a comment on the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.